All right, so I'll just type in my username. And let it upload. So it's very done very quickly since there's no data inside. It's fine. So let's see the mesh generation file. Mesh generation is okay. VI run file. Run file is okay. So uh, let's go and uh, change the system files. First with the block mesh dict. Okay, so firstly, I want to reduce, again, we have two goals. We want to have more refinement, but we don't want too many cells, right? We don't want too many cells or else the, the memory will start flooding. Okay, so for to attempt to do that, we want to reduce the number of uh, cells in the X and Y direction. Instead of a 20 by 20 grid, we have a 5 by 5 grid and maybe... Yeah, we'll just leave it as a hundred, okay? So we'll look at the snapping X mesh dict. Okay. So we have the refinement surfaces, the cylinder which is at two and five. Uh, my suspicion is that maybe we try and do a three and five this time. And we don't uh, include any of these refinement regions. So uh, let's see. We'll, maybe I'll just uh, do a comment here. And then I'll do a star dot, star, uh, star and forward slash here. I'll write this in. I don't want the refinement region. I just want it to refine the surface as per normal. So we'll do a level three refinement and we'll see what happens. Normally, we don't want to increase the refinement to say level 5 or 6 so quickly. We don't want to jump so many refinement levels uh, because it is going to cause the computer to hang. Okay, it happened to me before. Uh, it's very frustrating. So I I'm warning you, um, you have to manage, man manage the memory of uh, um, what uh, Snappy Hex Mesh is uh, doing because you can get the computer to hang and then you just have to restart. So sometimes I, I, I did that. So um, just want to show you, you know, what snappy hex what kind of memory snappy hex mesh will uh, usually take if you don't you know, watch it. All right, so I'm going to run the mesh generation. Oh, before I do that, let's copy zero into the zero original and we vi the all clean file. All right. We want to do a clean case zero instead of a clean case because that will delete the zero directory and give us a fresh start. So let's list and the zero dot original file is there. So let's do a mesh generation. So we do a clean case and then we'll do the restore. So we run the block mesh first. So see block mesh is here. Okay, I have a snappy X mesh, you see? 30% CPU and 64% memory, and that's uh, that's not even a level 4 refinement. So you can see Snappy X Mesh is going to take up a fair bit of your CPU power. If we do, let's say, a uh, uh, level 5 or 6 uh, refinement, you will see that your CPU power is going to be drastically, you know, uh, taken up. See, the power usage is very high. Snappy X Mesh. Okay. So some of the CPU is being used there, and GPU is something else, but yeah, it's going to use lots of CPU. So we got to be careful with uh, the refinement levels on Snappy Hex Mesh. Okay, so it's going to take a while. I don't know how long, but oh, it's finished. Great. Uh, and then we can run Paraview. And let's check out the new mesh. Again, my disk usage is being used a lot. Ah, oh, Paraview is, is that's why. Okay, that's fine. So Snappy Topo set Snappy Hex Mesh should be pretty uh, quick to run. And bear with me, maybe a slightly longer video. Um, yeah. 
Anyway, just to clarify a point, we want the refinement to be done by snappy hex mesh and not done by the block mesh. So that uh, the refinement can uh, you know, be in such a way that it shapes over the geometry of the surface. So again, if we just have uh, uh, you know, f a fine mesh to begin with, uh, we'll have too many cells by the time we refine. Uh, so to optimize this, we want to make the mesh coarse coarser. And this will also have the advantage of helping, of um, you know, causing the mesh to snap to the surface better because you know, uh, after you do a castellated mesh thing, it's easier to <coughs> snap to the surface correctly if you have the correct refinement level. If you yeah, if there are any questions, uh, please leave it in the comments. It can get a bit confusing this part, uh, but I hope you you do get what I'm, get where I'm coming from. All right. Okay, since this is running, uh, topo set and create patch. Oh, it's already done. Oops, it's already done. Uh, yeah, okay, sure. Let's take a look at piezoform snappy pipe. And we have a snappy pipe dot form here. Let's see whether we get our desired results. And look at this, a level 3 refinement is all you need. All the surfaces are smooth, there are no jagged edges. This is what a level 3 refinement can do. Of course we can do a level 4, but we do a level 3 first. And then we see, is it sufficient? See, the, the edges are very hard to, they're very hard to see whether it's that jagged. It's a significant improvement over the last time. And let's see whether if we just take the wall, you see the inside? Can you see it's a very, very uh, smooth as compared to last time? Last time, last time we were doing, we had lots of funny jagged edges at the side, and that was very problematic. But now, uh, we do a uh, internal mesh. We look at the internal mesh, and we see the surface with edges, and we look. It's a very smooth surface this time round. All because we had the proper refinement levels. See, um, when we refine right, uh, snappy hex mesh will help to uh, cause the meshes near the surface to bend to the surface geometry much better than if we have, let's say, a, a very fine block mesh at the beginning, but low levels of refinement. So refinement does play an important role. And this is the strategy we want to adopt moving forward. Okay, so thank you for watching. We have already done the preliminaries, such as, you know, writing the application files. I mean, changing the run script to uh, fit, right? To fit the, uh, you know, open form standard tutorial kind of uh, format. The, we, we match the run script and then we regenerated the mesh so that we are more or less ready to run a simulation using a piece of foam. Okay, so I'm going to do a git add git commit uh, mesh regenerated for piece of foam uh, snappy pipe. Okay, so git push I'm just going to upload this to GitHub. So it should be, again, very fast. Got 21 objects. Okay, so thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys uh, watching. Uh, if you like, you, you want to do a like. Um, yeah. If you like this video, if you found this helpful, please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys again.